Hi guys. So you probably saw on my uh, Snapchat that I was feeling under the weather and I wasn't going to vlog, but then I woke up today. I'm not really feeling that much better, but I still feel like I wanted to vlog. So here I am. To give an update, I am under the weather. I don't know exactly what I have. I, I'm guessing it's just a cold, but I don't know. Yesterday, like my body was all achy. Like where well, your skin hurts, if somebody just kind of touched you like this, your skin kind of hurt. Um, So I'm kind of worried that it was going to be the flu, but then I feel like if I had the flu, I would also be a lot worse than I am right now. So, I mean, even like with the makeup on, I feel like I, I look, mm, I guess I look kind of normal just by looking at the viewfinder. But anyways, uh, I've got some errands that I have to run. So I got to go pick up some headshots. Got to go to the, uh, the pet store to pick up some like unleashed or whatever it's called, um, to pick up some stuff for the dogs. And I also have a Falcor update for you guys in just a little bit um but stay tuned because this car is getting hot it's we're experiencing like a heat wave in la so it's around yesterday i know the high got to like 108 or something crazy like that um today as of right now it is 10 22 and my phone is telling me <laughs> You guys, it's 95. It's 95 degrees right now, and it's only 1022. So I, this is why I wanted to run errands now before it gets hot, and I want to make sure I'm home with Navi, make sure our AC stays good and well because it has broken in the past. So anyways, knock on wood, though. Okay, uh, I'll update you guys in a second. All right, to update you guys on Falcor, Falcor is at the vet. He stayed overnight last night, so he wasn't even home with us, which was heartbreaking for me. I'm so attached to him. But he gets little growths all over his body. Think of them as like little moles. So for the most part, we just leave those alone. Um, but sometimes they they burst. So when one of those little growths ruptures, we got to go and get it taken care of. So it's not like super invasive or anything like that. They just zap it off. And they're going to go ahead and zap off two other ones. One on his hip, one on his butt. Um, but then the, the thing that worried me, it's not really like the zapping of the little growths or whatever. But it's the... A uh, vet noticed that his gums were inflamed, so they checked him out. He's got gingivitis, so they actually have to sedate him. And while they were checking that, they found a heart murmur um, on Falcor. So that worries me a little bit. Basically, they're saying that his valve isn't closing all the way, and there may be some bacteria in the valve. And it's very mild because apparently the vet almost missed it. Like, he almost didn't hear it. That's how faint it was. So I guess that's a good thing. It just worries me. It's like just... It's my little, my little man, you know? Anyways, um, I'm going to pick him up later today, so I will um, give you guys a full update once I have him. And now I'm here, I'm sitting in the hot car, I'm going to go pick up my headshots. My worst fear almost came true, so I basically got out of the car, I was putting coin in the little uh, parking meter thingy, and I dropped my phone. This is a brand new phone, by the way, and now... Now there's a giant crack in it. Luckily... Uh, the case worked. I used to have the live proof case. Have I still ca kept that on? It would have been fine. But um, I switched out for the spec case, which still, I think the rest of the phone is okay because I do have like a secondary protective screen on my phone. So I think that's basically it was what's broken. I won't be able to fix it until I get home. I have a second one. It looks like I'm going to have to go on Amazon today and order some more. But better to order more of these than to actually have to fix my, you know, iPhone screen. Also said that I would show you guys my headshots. So here they are. Just show you real quick. Ta-da! I think they look really good. I like them. I like them a lot. Oops. Yeah. I like them. They look great. I'm excited. I haven't had new headshots in a really long time, so this is exciting. Okay, I'm done with all the errands. I picked up packages. I picked up headshots. I bought some stuff for the dogs. It's time to go home because the heat is getting a little unbearable outside for me. And I don't know if it's because I like I'm under the weather, so I feel a little worse in the sun or what, but I just want to go home and lay down. You guys, it is so hot outside. And I know this is like other places get way hotter, but a hundred and let's it felt like a hundred and something, but uh I think it's only like 90. I don't think it's even actually broken a hundred. Oh wow, okay, I lied. 108, you see that? That's crazy. So, um, to try to minimize using electricity, too much electricity in the house, I turned off all the lights except for two. The AC the thermostat is set at 80 degrees, which is not very warm. I mean, it's not very cool, but I don't want it running all day. It's gonna overload the AC and God forbid it breaks. So, we're not gonna have any of that, but I'm home. I'm in a tank top, my hair is up. 
I got some food. I got some ice cold drink. Um, and you guys remember in like one of the previous taste test videos, we tried the uh, fried green tomatoes chips and the crispy taco chips. Those I did not like. The green, the fried green tomatoes were good. Well, I was at Subway. I grabbed lunch, and they had everything bagel. So you know what? We're gonna try it right now. I don't know how accurate this taste test is gonna be because I am sick. So you know how when you're sick, your taste buds a little bit off. It actually smells like bagel. I could smell like the the bagel and the cream cheese. That's crazy. Okay, here we go. Everything bagel in a chip form. Oh my god. I think I'd rather have the crispy chip taco one. Mm-mm. Nope. Pass. Good thing it's a little pack. Ugh. I just I just didn't think this could be worse than crispy tacos. And like compared to this, I would eat crispy taco chips all day every day. It smells all right though, that's the thing. Okay, maybe one more for, maybe I'm gonna blame it on my, ta my taste buds. Like maybe because it's so off, that's why it's being. Mm-mm. It's really not that good. Okay, I'm not eating any more of that. Ugh. Okay, well, I got my Subway sandwich. I'm going to binge uh, on some Riverdale, and then I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. Oh, my God, you guys. I'm so excited about this. I just got a package, and I think I know what it is. My good friend Paul, if you're watching, I think this is it. So when I was at Comic-Con, I had the pleasure of meeting Claudia Gray, uh, the author of Lost Stars. And what's the Leia book? Uh, the Blood, 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 the Bloodline? Or, yeah. And um, this is her other Leia book. And it came out today. God, I really hope she comes back to Collider because I really want her to sign this. Yes! This is the Star Wars Leia Princess of Alderaan by Claudia Gray. I am so excited. Forget TV. Like, I am about to... Sorry, Josh McCuga. I'm about to pick up the book and put down the remote because... I'm so excited about this. There is, um, let's see, how many pages is this? 409 pages, so I can probably blow through this in three days, seeing that I am sick anyways. So, oh, I am so excited. Paul, if you're watching, thank you so much for my gift. I love it so much. I can't wait to, to just crack this open, literally. And Claudia Gray, if you watch this, I don't know, but I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait. Look at this artwork, you guys. Look how awesome that is. Okay, so I just read the lines on the back of the book, and it says, This thrilling adventure is set before A New Hope and contains clues about the upcoming film The Last Jedi. Yeah, I'm putting down the remote right now. I'm getting cracking on this thing. All right, time to pick up Falcor. I hope... Hope he's gonna be okay. I don't know. I just, it, I know it's a mild thing. I just, I always get so worried about him. <sighs> Falcor update. Look at this little man. Guy, uh, you look like you've been through war or something. Oh my god. This was supposed to be a procedure where they had to put him under because they had to heavily clean his gums. His gums were extremely inflamed. So they had to brush his teeth. Luckily, no removal. So that's one. And I guess that's why his face was wet because we were working on his mouth. And they removed one little growth that was there, like a little tiny mole. There's another one on his butt that he's sitting on. And then you will see a red band-aid back there. That's the one that was on his toe, um, on the top of his toe. So at least he's, he wouldn't be walking on that. And then we found, well, the doctor found uh, a heart murmur on him. So they took an x-ray of Falcor's heart and they noticed that his heart is like, a little bit rounder than normal, so now he has to take heart medicine for about 
40 days, he's on antibiotics for 7 days, and he's on all these like dental things and water drips for dental stuff. I can't even tell you, but there's a lot. But, um, oh, yeah, at least he's home, and he, he is just coming out of sedation, so that's why he's a little wobbly. Now I'm a little worried because I, now i got to reintroduce Navi to him, and I hope Navi just doesn't like sniff all over him and they like kind of go at it, you know, wish me luck. Well, what's it like to have Falcor home? I'm going to leave him alone, okay? Don't sniff all over him. I know you miss him. Maybe. I don't even know. He smells different, but you leave him alone. Okay? Look at this plethora of medicine for just for Falcor. So we have the dental care, but we're not supposed to feed it as food. We're supposed to just give it to him as, like, treats because it's hard. It'll scrape off the plaque. I don't know why this means scrape off, but um, Oravet, this is kind of something similar. And then we have his heart medication, his antibiotics, and this is... A uh, water additive mouth rinse, so like think Listerine for dogs, I guess. You add it to the water so that Navi can have some of this too. I bet like, maybe I can give some of this to Navi as well because she could probably use it. Well, I think it's time to end the vlog here. I've got my pup back. I've got Navi on the couch. I've got a book to start reading and some NyQuil to take so I can feel better. Thanks so much for watching this video. Um, don't forget to give it a like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next vlog.